South Korea has won a $20 billion deal to build four nuclear power plants for the United Arab Emirates. Hyundai Engineering, Samsung Construction and Doosan Heavy Industry joined America's Westinghouse and Japan's Toshiba to win the bid over a group led by France's Arriva, an industry leader. South Korean President Lee Myung-bak inked the deal Sunday following his summit with Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. South Korea's first atomic energy export agreement has the state-backed Korea Nuclear Energy Foundation bullish on the country's export potential, and this deals mutual benefits. The government also plans to do this business with Jordan, Kazakhstan, Thailand, Vietnam and South Africa. And yesterday's nuclear deal will bring economic benefits to both countries as they can cooperate in semiconductors, ships, information technology and recycling energy development. The consortium is now pushing for a similar deal with Turkey. In addition to the construction agreement, South Korea expects the contract to generate another $20 billion in operation and maintenance, with safety and clean energy a priority. There is a big difference between the CO2 emissions from oil energy and from nuclear energy. For example, if we produce one kilowatt of energy from oil, it creates 728 grams of CO2. Nuclear energy doesn't generate any CO2. South Korea also has the best safety record for nuclear power in the world, far above the industry average at 93.4%. Despite the recent statistics, activists still worry about catastrophic accidents and the proliferation of dual-use technology. We are opposed to South Korea exporting atomic energy capabilities to other countries. There is a lot of evidence that nuclear energy is not safe or peaceful. Chernobyl and Three Mile Island are examples of dangers posed by nuclear technology. South Korea currently operates 20 nuclear reactors which produce 40 percent of the country's power. South Korea is now breaking into a highly regulated market dominated by just a few countries. And with the world requiring an estimated thousand more reactors by the year 2050, the number of players in the nuclear power business is likely to multiply. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.